So I've just finished a bit of deliver um, delivering my surveys in uh, in Chantry. I've been down Turn Road, Grebe Close, um, and I think Plover Road and Mallard Way. So I'm heading off to South East Citrus now. Just wanted to say, make a few comments about the Leveling Up Fund. I mean, some of you might have seen in the local and national media that the, the government have been doling out cash to different areas for various projects. Ipswich put in for, for, this, for this fund. Uh, unfortunately, we were one of the sort of 400 areas that were unsuccessful. Only about 120 were successful, I think. You know, I was, to be honest with you, I've been pretty, pretty annoyed about it. I've been pretty, pretty, pretty bruised. I w wasn't the most pleasant person in the world to be around with on Tuesday evening and Wednesday when I found out. I was, I was slightly uh, prickly, I think that's best to say. But I'm pretty demanding for Ipswich. Um, since I got elected as the MP, we got £25 million from the town deal. I spoke earlier this week about one of those projects, a shopping parades project. We've also had some funding from the Shared Prosperity Fund um, and also Safer Streets Fund. We've had the edu Ipswich Education Opportunity Area. And of course, we've recently had the news about the Freeport and Felix Stone Harwich, which though those tax sites aren't in Ipswich, it will create 14,000 jobs in the local economy. Uh, and I've been very supportive of that because I could see how it benefit Ipswich. Um, but I'm not happy about the Leveling Up Fund not being successful. There is going to be another round, and I will work with the council to try and make sure that this time we can be successful. Ipswich Borough Council put in the bid, but I supported it. Um, and as, as some of you know, it, you know, one of the projects was um, £50 million was going to go into Gainsborough Sports Centre, £3 million was going to go into the Brimhill Lido uh, to try and reopen that finally. Um, and um, I was hopeful we were going to be successful. We weren't. Um, but, you know, I'll always be ambitious for Ipswich, I'll always be demanding to Ipswich. And if I have to have arguments in Parliament on behalf of the town, I will. I'm hopeful we'll get the money in the next round of funding. And I'm hopeful there'll be other opportunities as well. So, bad news. But I guess sometimes we, we, we do have these setbacks. We'll keep going.